Good morning, sir. Morning. Welcome you to Marshall's Elite Worldly. Thank Friends, you very much. This is architect Rajiv Trehan with us today. Sir, just want to know a little about how you got into architecture. So, what has really been your inspiration to take up architecture as a career? Inspiration for architecture has been uh, the merging of art and science together. <coughs> it's not like a, just make a sculpture and doesn't make sense. It has a lot of things which need to go together, yeah. and both of them were my keen interests ever since I was a child. I liked uh, design, I liked art, and I liked the technicalities that go with it. So, all that is properly uh, wedged. I mean, you can't just do a, a thing and it'll happen. You know, you, you have to make things work. Yeah. So that's the challenging part, and that's the great part. Great. So you had this vision of uh, being an architect from very young. Yeah, I would say that. Yes. Okay. How long have you been in this profession, sir? About twenty-five years. Twenty-five years. So you don't look more than thirty-five yourself. <laughs> <laughs> About twenty-three, twenty-four years I've been working, and five years of education. So if you uh, take all that, then maybe it's twenty-eight years. <laughs> wow. So that's a lot of experience that yes. goes into it. So, what do you specialize in? Residential, commercial, hospitality? Which is your area of specialization? I have done all uh, kinds of things. Uh, at some point of time, I was really specializing in interiors, but uh, then large uh, projects in uh, residential, uh, with the IT boom, there was so much of office buildings to be done, and all that took up so much of time that I had to, you know, uh, leave one of them. So that happened to be interiors. So right now, I'm not doing much interiors, but I am doing a lot of residential buildings, IT buildings. Uh, townships, so uh, I have done all kinds of stuff. Great, I think DLF swears by you. <laughs> That's nice of them. Great, thanks. Uh, so, which so far in this big career of 28 years, which so far would have been your most challenging assignment? Challenging assignments are. Uh, uh, that's a very difficult question, actually, because. Uh, different uh, some projects have been challenging in different ways there have been challenges where uh, there have been more than one client on a job or more than one decision maker let me put it yeah. and each one strong in his own way so those are the more challenging ones because uh, you have to make sure that the design satisfies them as well as you so there are three people to satisfy rather than two so they are the more challenging ones but uh, to name them would not be appropriate I think Okay, I think government uh, FSI rules are equally challenging as <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are project design. They are always a challenge, but they are an interesting challenge because okay. they kind of put a kind of uh, 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 discipline in how to deal with your thing. Like I said, uh, art, uh, technicality, and rules. Yeah. You know, it's all three have to be uh, all amalgamated. Yeah, amalgamated, and then the client has to be satisfied. Great. So, sir, with so much years of experience behind you, what could be that dream project you know that you would want to do uh, in your career soon? Dream project would be where, uh, uh, you know, I mean, it, it can be something really large, which is more, uh, which is the function is not that important, but the form. It can be like a city square or something like that, you know, which is like, uh, which is the heart of a town, and which has to. Uh, 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 you know, uh, cater to a lot of people, but it doesn't cater to one guy. It's not a private residence. It's like for the whole town. It should be of uh, great proportions, like the old towns. You know, like, like if you go to say town hall in Bombay, you see the size of the steps and columns. If you do that for a person, he'll say, "Why are you making such wide steps?" You know, so the scale has to be. You should do something of that scale now, so that. Uh, so you want to create a landmark in the. Definitely yes. Great. Such a nice, play, nice uh, uh, op opportunity to talk to you, sir, and pleasure to have you. Thank on. you very much, and I wish you all the best. You've been very enterprising yourself, and you've done great stuff. So Thank I wish you, you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much.